no, no, and no. I'm Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, and what to the makeup starts now. Welcome to What's Up In Makeup for June 18th, 2017. Let's get started with the top industry news. On Thursday, Desiem, home of the Ordinary Line of Skincare, sent out a teaser saying something very, very big is going to happen. A little while later, we found out that the Estee Lauder companies had acquired a minority stake in the company. As the story goes, ELC made the investment and Desiem with the expectation that the company will continue as they have been doing without changing who they are, all the while providing a way for the company to expand even faster. The partnership is sure to allow Desiem to continue development and leading innovation without the delays that have been such an issue lately. Fans' reactions and the buzz that followed range from disappointment to despair to outright anger. Folks are concerned that this will mean a change in the formulas and downsizing in quality. Well, we shall see. There have been some recent reports that Avon CEO Sherry McCoy is expected to step down. Terms on her speculated departure or the candidate that will be replacing her is not available at this time. With news of this development, the struggling company shares took an upward turn, ending in a 4.6% increase by market closing on Wednesday. The company has recently been seeing diving stock prices with the decline of sales, and two of their investors were urging the company to seek a new CEO. This information comes after after an announcement earlier this week that the former Herbalife executive Miguel Fernandez will be taking over as the company's global president in August. Attention subscription box addicts looking for that one-stop shop to get your beauty subscription fix? Live Glam has you covered with three different clubs. Each club is $19.99 per month and there are discounted prices for choosing a six-month or a one-year plan. You can choose from the brush club. Each month you'll receive three to seven new brushes from more Femi. Lipstick Club. Each month you'll receive three new liquid lipsticks for less than you would normally pay for one. Each lipstick is made in the USA, vegan and cruelty free. You'll never get the same shade twice. The Polish Club. Each month your box will contain three new gel-like polishes. The line has many different finishes that include neutrals, nudes, brights, metallic and glitters. Free shipping within the US. If you visit Pat McGrath's Instagram, you'll see some surreal videos announcing the upcoming launch of Lust. Matte Trance, a new collection of lip shades that's set to launch July 14th, described as a lethally luxurious, instantly iconic new lipstick. An intense matte that is light as a feather and not even close to drying. McGrath stated in an interview, I didn't want a matte that felt like concrete. This formula doesn't mask the natural texture of your lips. McGrath created the shades to be complimentary on all skin tones. The Everything Kit will be a whopping 300 $75. Trio kits will be $95 and single lipsticks will be $38. They'll be limited edition, so get yours while supplies last. We've been giving you tons of updates on the Lisa Frank Glamour Dolls collab, but are you ready for even more nostalgia? This October, in conjunction with the premiere of the magical and whimsical My Little Pony the Movie and Hasbro, China Glaze will introduce a 14 shade polish line with frost, chrome, celestial glitter, satin, and creme finishes. Every Everything your pony heart or brony heart could ask for. Shades will be sold individually for $8 each and in sets. All polishes and kits will be available in July at Sally Beauty Supply and Ulta Beauty. Makeup lovers might forget their makeup kits, but they will never forget their phones. With that in mind, meet the Pout Case, a phone case that allows for easy and discreet transport of your makeup. The founder came up with the idea after trying to find a way to hide her compact during a meeting. She attached her compact to her phone with a hair tie, and this idea was born. The case has a slide-out compartment that houses a customizable palette. Choosing between the four shades of foundation, seven shades of lipstick, and one clear gloss is the most complicated thing about the case, which itself comes in four colors. The pout case is now available for pre-order, but the price of convenience does not come cheap. The case itself will run you $38, and then you can choose up to three of the cosmetic shades for an additional $25. If you're an 
avid YouTube watcher and love makeup, then you may be familiar with the channel Hankin Henry. He takes using color to another level with purple and cobalt eyes paired with a vampy plum lip to sultry black and gray smoky eye look with this bright turquoise lip. With all that love for makeup and skills, it's no shock that he himself is launching his own cosmetic brand. This announcement came out on his Instagram page with little information other than it's what I've been working so hard for and that it's coming fall of 2017. So for now, that's what I can say. Kim Kardashian West announced that she'll be launching her own makeup line called KKW Beauty on June 21st. Posts on the new brand's Instagram indicate that the first product will be a contour and highlight kit in fair, medium, dark, and deep dark. And it is the promotional material for this product that brings us to the point of controversy. Specifically, this photo. It shows Kim looking super stunning as usual with her signature heavy contour, but some are accusing her of going blackface and that has drawn some interesting tweets like these. How did a team of PR people look at the photo of Kim in blackface and then tell her to post it and make it her avi? Black women get told to lighten, meanwhile Kim spent her entire career in perpetual blackface and is lauded for her beauty. And who put Kim K in blackface for her ad? Why is she 100 years late with a contour kit? Some might say this is simply an editorial filter on the photo. What do you think? Comment below with your feelings on this controversy. And finally, still no. In hot and sunny deals this week at Hope Look, Morphe is up to 45% off. At Costco, buy Terry palettes are $39.99. Choose Forest Desire with six forest-inspired shades or a Techno Aura with six spacey pinks and nudes. These palettes are $58 on Beautylish. Also at Costco, Clinique Acne Solutions Acne Plus Line Correcting Serum $24.97. And this is $44.50 at Sephora. And at Sephora, Tarte Make Believe in Yourself eye and cheek palette was $40, now it's $30, and the Urban Decay Jean-Michel Basquiat Gallery Blush Palette was $34, and now it's $23.80. Four shades inspired by the work of this groundbreaking artist. Let's dive into the product reports, starting with Sephora. From Anastasia, Beverly Hills, the Aura Glow Kit has launched $40, a collection of highlighters with iridescent and metallic finishes. The Blush Trio is $30 in five shade sets. From Bare Minerals this week, Statement Under Over Lip Liner is $16 in five shades. Black Up Matte Definition Powder is $42 and Innovative Universal Powder. Huda Beauty released the Liquid Matte Minis $33 in four colorways. And from Laneige, BB Cushion Hydra Radiance or BB Cushion Pore Blur $38 each. One hydrates, the other mattifies. Each comes in six shades. The Cushion Concealer is $24. That comes in four shades. Two Tone lipsticks, $27. A split bullet lipstick with two complementary shades for a trendy ombre effect in eight shades. Makeup Forever released this week the Eye Basic Set, $25. This is online only. It's a trio of travel friendly eye makeup essentials. From Velour Lashes this week, the Get Started Lash Kit is $29, a tool kit with the essentials for easy lash application, including the best selling lashes, Mama Knows Best. And coming soon from Stellar, the Brilliant Primer, $35. $5. Stardust Lip Powder Palette, $28 in two shade sets. At Ulta this week, Clarins Limited Edition Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector is $26. They describe it as sheer tints of color plus 3D shimmer available in two shades. From Anastasia Beverly Hills, the blush trios are also avail available at Ulta. $30 available in five trios. And then, of course, the Aura Glow Kit is also at Ulta for $40. The Lorac Beauty and the Beast Collection is now available at Ulta. We weren't sure whether it was going to end up at Ulta or not, but now it officially has. The Pro Eyeshadow Palette is $48, 16 all new and exclusive shades. The cheek palette, $28. A lipstick collection is $36. It's a $95 value. That was the one that sold out super fast on La Rock's website. And the lip gloss collection is $34. It is a $90 value. It includes five shades. The Carly Bible Deluxe Edition 21 color eyeshadow and highlighter palette from BH Cosmetics is now available only at Ulta Online, $22.50. It is in stores on June 25th. And 
another new brand has come to Ulta, Note Cosmetics, that uses globally sourced botanical ingredients at prices that don't break your bank, available online only, and here are some of the highlights of that brand. The long-wearing lipsticks are $9.95, available in seven shades. Matte Moist Lip Gloss, also $9.95, available in eight shades. Luminous Silk Mono Eyeshadows are $7.95, available in 15 shades. Eyeshadow Pencils, $8.95, available in seven shades. Luminous Silk Compact Blusher, $11.95, available in eight shades. And then the Terracotta Powder is $17.95. It does come in three shades. Butter London released this week the One Swipe Wonders Collection for $39. It's online only. Polished Neutrals in the Sheer Wisdom Lush Lip Oil, Serum Shadow, and Nail Tinted Moisturizer. This week from CoverGirl, Colorlicious Melting Pout Liquid Lipsticks are $7.99. It's a gel-based formula available in 12 colors. And then the Farewell Feathering Lip Liner is $7.99. Total Tease Mascara, $8.99. With Lash Teasing Comb, this is available in three shades and is waterproof. The Ulta brand released the Sun Care Sampler for $9.99. Sampler includes items from Kula, Neutrogena, Saint Tropez, and Tan Towel, and more. And yes, the gifts with purchase are back this week. Always one per customer while quantities last. Receive a free body blending sponge with any $33 Derma Blend purchase, and these are available online only. Free full size lipstick with any two MAC lip product purchases, five lipsticks to choose from, and the three piece gift with tote with any $35 Ahava purchase. In high end news this week at Nordstrom, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy Lip Potion Liquid Lipstick Collection is $32. It's a set of four full liquid lipsticks. Dior released the Five Colors Ultimate Couture palette for $63. It is a harmony of colors based on the central shade. Jouer released the Skinny Dip Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows palette $40, causing all kinds of buzz on YouTube recently with six new Ultra Foil Shimmer Shadows. From Bobbi Brown, Sun Kiss Glow Set is $50, a split pan bronze and compact with two shades and a mini face blender brush. The eyeshadow trio is $40. It contains three shadows in sparkle, shimmer, or metallic finishes. And at Bloomingdale's this week from Estee Lauder, Double Wear Highlighting Cushion Stick or the Double Wear Radiant Bronze Cushion Stick, those are $42 each. Lancome Dual Finish Highlighters are $39.50, five shades available. And at Neiman Marcus, La Paris Skin Caviar Concealer Foundation Sunscreen SPF 15 is $225. Match concealer and foundation with caviar extracts in one container in one shade, caramel beige. YSL released the Pop Water Vernis Alev Glossy Stain, $36. The third revolution under the iconic Glossy Stain franchise in four shades. This week at Saks, we have Chantecaille Foundation and Mask Brush. It's $37. Crafted of lightweight wood and sleek gunmetal. And finally at Barney's, the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine, $37. Hyaluronic Acid Microspheres help seal in moisture in three shades. In Mac news this week, metallic lipsticks are back, $17 and available in 17 shades. And is the popular whisper of guilt, or should I say legendary whisper of guilt highlighter returning for the holidays? Reports are mixed with no set dates. This one has to remain rumor for now. A tempting, exciting rumor. In drugstore news this week, e.l.f. Matte to Shimmer Lip Transformer Palette, $6. Customize your look with four matte lip colors and a shimmer gloss in four colorways. From Maybelline, Face Studio Master Fairy Highlight Illuminating Powder is $9.99 and the original rainbow or the exclusive purple. Lash Sensational Curvitude Washable Mascara, $8.99. The answer for defined curled lashes in black is black. From Physicians Formula, PH Matchmaker, PH H powered lip gloss 995 transforms into your perfectly personalized hue features an LED powered compact that lights up Essence released a water kiss glossy lip color for 349 it does come in six shades LA colors cosmetic summer shades are now available at Dollar General and now available at Dollar Tree beauty benefits cosmetics from the company that brings you wet and wild 
At QVC, where rain or shine, it's $3 shipping. James Reed, H2O Tanning Face and Body Miss Duo, 3636. They say you can gradually build natural looking color with this cooling formula, includes a tanning mitt. From Mally, the Ever Color Shadow Stick Extra Velvet Trio is $35 with a new velvet matte finish. Sun and Sea Four Piece Eye Collection, $35.10. They say it's everything you need to create the hottest summer looks. From Albia by Anthropology, Shimmer Palette with Brush is $26. Sculpt Bronze and Highlight with three blendable powders. Artist Atelier Lip Balm Trio is $20. Includes Deep Berry, Pale Blush, and Classic. Red. Clark's Botanicals Ultra Rich Lip Duo, $29 plus free shipping, includes Ultra Rich Lip Balm and Ultra Rich Lip Tint. Wander Beauty released the Wanderlust Powder Foundation and Brush for $39.98 in your choice of five colors. And Givenchy has the Hydra Lip Cheek Balm with Mini Mascara for $39 plus free shipping. Billy B by Galani Face and Eye Palette is $54. 15 shades for eyes and four shades for cheeks designed by celebrity makeup artist Billy B. There will be a TSV on June 19th. Christopher Buckle Five Piece Color, $58.12 includes everything you see here in your choice of five shades. Meanwhile, over at HSN from Benefit, the professional cover-up, $30 plus free shipping, choice of five shades, Boeing Industrial Strength Concealer or Boeing Airbrush Concealer or Boeing Hydrating Concealer or Boeing Brightening Concealer. They're $20 each plus free shipping, each in a choice of three shades. And then finally, the Chubby Mermaid Multi-Purpose Makeup Brush, $15 plus free shipping choice of rose gold or silver tone. In natural and cruelty-free news, Tata Harper Rejuvenating Serum 50 milliliters is $158. They call it a powerful blend of ingredients that helps minimize visible signs of aging. And then from Au Natural Cosmetics, Beauty on the Fly, $49. These are interesting. Each is a trio of powder sprayers for creating a look on the go. Each has a powder blush, powder bronzer, and powder highlighter. Sets are available in three colorways. In indie brand news this week, Makeup Geek has released more info about the nude collection. Bronze Luster in Sun Kiss Tawny or Burnished, $22. In the nude nine color eyeshadow palette is $50. In the nude bundle, $95. It's a collection of eyeshadows, plush lips, highlighter, and bronze luster, available in fair, medium, or deep. Remember this tease from Milk Makeup last week? This is the result. Milk is collaborating with the center for a glitter stick, a combination of techno rainbow glitter and a formula infused with mango butter, coconut oil, and avocado oil. Show off your pride with this limited edition rainbow glitter highlighter benefiting the Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, and Transgender Community Center, or the Center for Pride Month in New York City. Half of all proceeds go directly to the center, $30 exclusive to MilkMakeup.com. Notoriously morbid Cosmetics has released the Crossing No Man's Land collection, a mini surprise collection inspired by one of our favorite warriors fighting for what's good and just in the world, with four glorious shades, $20 for the full-size collection. The collection is also available as individual single eyeshadows, Paradise Island, I Will Fight, Sword to Ash, $2.75 for the mini size, $5.50 for the full size, and the Fires of Hestia Challenging Top coat is available for $9. Beauty Bar Baby has restocked the Cherry Lava Semi-Metallic Liquid Matte Lipstick for $13.95. And ColourPop Cosmetics has released the Cute AF Eyeshadow Palette, 16 shades in the palette, $16. I know this sold out as soon as it went on sale. I'm not sure by the time this airs whether it'll be back in stock, but it's definitely worth checking out. It looks like a really cool palette. Kylie Cosmetics has released her Vacation Edition collection. Here are some highlights. Take Me On Vacation eyeshadow palette, June Bug lip kit, send me more nudes lip sets in matte or velvet, and super glitter glosses, and the skinny dip face duo, the wet set highlighter palette, and the ultra glow loose powder highlighters. Makeup Monsters is having their summer sale. Use code SUMMER25 for 25% off all regularly priced items, plus get a mini liquid lipstick in Sand Trap with your purchase of $50 or more. There's also several liquid lipsticks marked down to $10, but you can't use the code on them. Also, Makeup Monsters hinted on Instagram that they're working on something new. Hmm, wonder what? 
And this is gonna be the last lightning round for a little while, so get ready in three, two, one. My Pretty Zombie has given us an overview of the full Dolly Deadly collection. It includes three eyeshadows, contour, highlight, and nail polish. The collection will be released on July 1st as part of the MPZ's seven-year anniversary sale. Hoda Beauty posted on Instagram that she has a huge collab with a big mystery brand coming up, and she wants everyone to guess what brand. And Mel Cosmetics will soon release something called the Hot Box Collection, but what is it? We do not know. Here's some late breaking news we thought you'd want to know. We have a few more details on the KKW Beauty Cream Contour and Highlight Kits. We know that each kit comes with a dual ended contour stick and a dual ended highlighter, one matte and one shimmer highlight, and a dual ended blending brush and sponge. Makes for a very interesting looking product package. Here are the shades. Light, medium, dark, and deep dark coming on the 21st. Black Moon Cosmetics Luda will be a new way to highlight your look. It's said to create a dancing holographic effect, but is it really hollow? We can't tell from the package, but we do know it is cruelty free and vegan and arriving on June 30th at noon Pacific. The Dose of Colors Lip It Up Satin Lipstick is also cruelty free and vegan and will launch on June 23rd at 10 a.m. Pacific on their website in 10 gorgeous shades. Take a look at the upcoming Makeup Revolution Renaissance Glow Palette coming soon to their website. In celebration of Canada's 150th anniversary, Max Proud to be a Canadian collection is slated to arrive in stores and online June 22nd, but only in Canada. ColourPop Cosmetics is crafting a custom shade for your Ipsy bag for fall 2017, and Model Zone has launched the Matte Licks lipstick in some very pretty shades. Here's a sneak peek from Jouer. What do you think? Lip liners? Eyeliners? Sephora is now offering two times points on makeup and brushes online and in store. No promo code necessary now through June 22nd. And if you miss a makeup minute and what's up in makeup while we're on vacation, be sure to check our Jen Loves Reviews Instagram for product news and updates. And that's it for What's Up In Makeup this week. Thank you so much to the official What's Up In Makeup reporting team. Their faces are scrolling next to me. Thank you so much for your submissions this week. And thank you to Tabitha B for bringing it all together in a script for me this week. You did a fantastic job on the script this week. Thank you so much. And thank you also to the What's Up In Makeup app reporters. Their names are scrolling here. If you're currently submitting to the What's Up In Makeup app, I'm still working on that transition to the Facebook group. I haven't forgotten about it. Just a lot of stuff getting in the way of me doing that. So we are working on that. We will take care of that when I get back from our vacation. Until then, continue to submit to the app because I'll scoop everything up when I get back. So speaking of that, we are going on a brief vacation. The next What's Up In Makeup episode will be on July 2nd. I know it seems like a long time away, but time will pass. We will get there together. As part of that time off, I will be attending Generation Beauty in Toronto, so be sure to come find me if you're going to be there too. The Makeup Minute is also going on hiatus for about a week. I'm going to try really hard to get as many up as I can, but I'm really just going to put vacation and family first. So if I can, I'll put them up. If not, there is going to be a break. There's also going to be a break in content. Content on the channel is going to be really, really slow over the next couple of weeks. I am going to be live streaming a lot on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Periscope, and also on YouTube. So make sure you're following me everywhere to make sure that you don't miss any piece of my trip. You never know what's going to happen in the live stream and I have no schedule for it so they're just going to kind of be popping off everywhere while I'm gone. Speaking of other social medias, while I am on vacation, I'm going to be uploading a lot to my Instagram. Tap that's going to help me out to put some of the Makeup Minute information onto Instagram so that you don't miss the most important releases so make sure you're following me on there. You can also join our Facebook group but first you must answer our questions three. It'll make sense when you get there. For information on the products we covered today, check the where to buy page on our website, whatsupandmakeup.com. You can also see the getting ready with me that I do on Periscope every Friday if you want to know how I got my look today. There is no chat today because it is Father's Day. My husband's birthday is tomorrow, so we're celebrating his birthday and Father's Day all today because we're traveling to New York tomorrow, so we won't get to celebrate a whole lot tomorrow. So it's going to be like one big birthday shebang today, so we're not going to do chat today. But I want to thank you to everybody who does come to chat. I really appreciate you coming and and we'll see you in July for chat. And I'm really sorry it's going to take that long. But we're going to do lots of live streams in the meantime. So make sure you're subscribed everywhere so you don't miss it. And mad love to you. Thanks again for supporting the show. And I will see you in a video hopefully very soon.